Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you everything that will stop mobs from spawning in any given area. For the longest time, I thought I knew what the answer to this was, but I was wrong. And stick around to the end and I'll show you the two best items to use to stop mobs spawning and the best ways to hide them. So first off, some people think that distance from the player has an effect on spawn. They think if the player is too close, then mobs will not spawn. And that is not true. No matter how close you are to a spawner, if the mob is ready to spawn, it will spawn in. And this is the same for all mobs. It's not just boars. I'm just using boars as an example because I love me some boars. Don't I? Mm, don't bite me, little buddy. Let's start off with the building items. OK, that's the first three rows of build items. Let's see if any of them prevent mob spawns. Nope. OK, there's all the rest of the build items from the build menu. Let's see if any of them prevent mob spawning. Nope. So none of the build items prevent mob spawning. OK, something important to know before we move on to the other tabs is that items that are considered part of a player base are actually the ones that prevent mobs from spawning. And here we are in the miscellaneous tab and we're going to test all the stacks and the treasure items. Nope. OK, what about the cartography table? Let's take a look. Nope. Let's try the cart. Nope. Let's see if wards stop spawning. It looks like wards do stop spawning. And to be sure, let's delete the ward and watch the boar. Oh, you see there, the boar just popped right in right there. Let's try the portal. Let's destroy the portal and see if the boar pops in. And let me show you the campfire, the hearth, and the bonfire. So I set up the spawner there. I'm going to break the hearth. I'm going to break the campfire. And I'll break the bonfire. And you can see the boar spawned in. And that's whether these fires are lit or not. And any one of them will stop spawn from happening. And let's check the boats real quick. So nope for the boats. OK, let's look at the crafting menu. Let's start with the obliterator. Nope. Let's try the fermenter. Ah, it looks like the fermenter does stop them from spawning here. We'll delete it real quick and they should pop in. Yep, there it is. Let's try the beehive. Nope, let's try the spinning wheel. The spinning wheel does, it looks like. Try the windmill. The windmill also stops spawning and there the board pops in. I'm going to guess most of these items from this menu stop spawning. And there's our boar. So that's the kiln. I'm going to guess the blast furnace also. And we destroy it. And there's our boar. The smelter. Yes. And here's the cooking station. Nope. The iron cooking station. Nope. Here's the cauldron. Nope. Here's the stone oven. Yes. Here's the stone cutters workbench. And yes for that. Here's the workbench. It's the only item that shows you how far it's stopping the spawn. But what you can do also is you can just pull out the workbench like this. And if you put one of the other items down, just kind of put it next to the other item. And you can guess that that's about how far that item is preventing spawn. And let's try all the upgrades for the workbench. Let's delete the workbench itself. No, they do not. So that's interesting. I was almost certain that they would stop mobs from spawning. Let's try the upgrades for the cauldron. Nope. OK, let's try the artisan table. Yes on that. The forge is preventing spawn. Let's try its upgrades. We're going to delete the forge because we know it prevents spawning. There's our boar. OK, let's try the items from the furniture menu. Let's start with the banners. No, banners do not. Let's try the holiday items and the rugs. 
Nope. Okay, let's see if the sign does. Nope. I'm going to decorate with you everywhere I can. How about you guys? You going to decorate? Yeah, you are. Yeah, I can see it in your eyes. Eh, we got item stands. Nope. Let's try the chests. Nope. So let's see if any of the sitting items prevent mobs from spawning. Nope. All right, let's try the three tables. Nope. Okay, let's check the hot tub. Nope. Okay, let's try the beds here. The beds are a yes. So the last thing we have are all the different torches, the sconce, and the hanging brazier. And any one of these will stop spawn even if they're not lit. Okay, behind me are all the items that are considered player base items. They stop mobs from spawning within 20 meters, and if you have three of them within 40 meters of each other because of their 20 meter radius, they will trigger raid events. So let's go through them again real quickly as a summary. We've got the campfire, the hearth, the regular bed, the dragon bed, the bonfire, the sconce, all the torches, the hanging brazier, the spinning wheel, the forge, the fermenter, the artisan table, the stone cutter, the portal, the workbench, and the ward, the stone oven, the windmill, the kiln, the smelter, and the blast furnace. Okay, now I want to show you a couple of tips for placement of items that will prevent spawn. So you're probably using the workbench and or the ward and you're placing them all over your base and they don't make very good decorations when just scattered all over the place. Now you might try burying them so that you don't have to see them. Now this is great for wards because when the ward is buried, the mobs can't get to it to break it. But you can't actually bury the workbench. As you can see, the wood came up and the workbench is broken. Okay, so instead of using workbenches and wards, I'm gonna suggest you use campfires and their basic standing wood torch. The reason is because they don't require very many resources, so you can place them all over the place. Now, what's great about these is with the campfire, you can actually bury it. You don't even have to see it, and it's now blocking spawns within a 20 meter radius. And then the torches here are great because you can use them as light sources later, or you can hide them inside a beam like that and you don't have to see them at all. All right, that's it for now. Have fun out there.